biofuels have been around ever since man discovered fire, as wood was the first form of biofuel. Biofuels are fuel made from biological processes, and today's biofuels are made of biomass from waste feedstock, such as unharvested corn husks, with the most common forms being biodiesel and bioethanol. Biofuels were heavily used with the invention of electricity, but as fossil fuels like gas, coal, and oil were discovered, they dominated the fuel market and pushed out biofuels. Over the last century though, this increased reliance on fossil fuels has greatly increased the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which has led to significant problems with climate change. As climate change has grown more severe and countries have paid more attention to their environmental impacts, biofuels began to once again gain popularity in the early 2000s because they are a cleaner alternative as a renewable resource. South Africa has been a leader on the African continent in biofuel expansion and innovation. We wanted to look at South Africa because of their dominant biofuel market and because of its great prospects for expanding further in the future. By looking at the positive and negative impacts of biofuel development in South Africa thus far, we can see how biofuels might be reformed to greater care for the interests of local communities in the future. Biofuels in South Africa have provided an attractive alternative to the country's reliance on importing oil. Following the dependency theory, South Africa has been economically dependent on other countries to meet their large energy needs. South Africa is one of the most carbon emission intensive countries in the world and is the largest consumer of energy in all of Africa, consuming 31% of total primary energy. To meet these growing energy needs and lessen their dependence on importing oil, South Africa is heavily investing into expanding biofuel production throughout the country. Energy security and energy diversification were the primary incentives for South Africa to get into biofuels but the other big draw includes economic development and the efficient use of renewable resources. The developed world has increasingly been demanding cleaner fuel, and South Africa is hoping to boost their economy by exporting biofuels. Biofuels have also played an important role in agricultural and rural development. The creation of a biofuel industry could put to use 14% of underutilized arable land in South Africa. If this industry does begin to take off, a biofuel task force study stated that it would create 39,850 jobs in the country. Biofuels seem to have all the answers, but let's think about who these jobs are for. Do the jobs go to local people? Are profits being invested back into rural communities? Biofuels aren't the miracle answer that they seem to be and it's important to consider the injustices that have been born out of biofuel expansion in South Africa. As biofuels continue to develop on an industrial scale, there have been greater concerns about how biofuels affect food security and local communities. Food security for the world's growing population is a global concern. While we are currently producing enough food for the world's population right now, 11.3% of the world's population still goes hungry, and a quarter of the world's undernourished people live in Sub-Saharan Africa. This illustrates the global North and South divide in global environmental justice, because countries in the global North have greater economic and political power to avoid food security issues, whereas African countries will bear a greater burden of food security issues. With African countries already bearing the burden of food insecurity problems, the issues will only be exacerbated by the growing population. The population of the African continent is expected to reach 1.3 billion by 2020, and 17% of these people will reside in Southern Africa. The big question has become, should South Africa be wasting billions of tons of valuable crop worldwide per year on biofuels with the looming possibility that we won't be able to feed people in the near future? Other major concerns for biofuels include commodity prices, displacement of livelihoods, loss of land tenure, low farm wages, and child labor. The Eastern Cape province in South Africa has been particularly impacted by the development of biofuels. When the proposal for biofuel production was first introduced in the province, a total of 303 questionnaires were distributed by scholars to see how the community felt about the proposed production. 
the survey responses were overwhelmingly against the proposed biodiesel production supply chain, with their major concern being about land use. While a South African government considers much of the land in the Eastern Cape province underutilized, people responded in the survey that this land is part of their inheritance and very identity. Survey respondents generally did not trust the developers, thought their voices were being left out of the decision-making process, and believed that the developers' interference would disrupt the social fabric and character of their community. Economic concerns also came up in the survey responses, as people believed that the money would only benefit the elite, and jobs would be given to outsiders. Survey respondents were also concerned about water and air pollution, posing health risks, food security, and environmental concerns. The survey responses show the issues of procedural justice in biofuel development, as community members had not been included in the decision-making process, and thus led to all the issues they had with the production process. Demographically, the Eastern Cape is one of the poorest provinces, and the majority of its population are Black Africans. The concerns of these people, the cultural value of their land, their health and economic well-being, have all been largely ignored, and biofuel production has continued to boom in the Eastern Cape province. It seems that in this case, developers are opting to take the path of least resistance, but for South Africa to continue developing biofuels, community concerns like these need to be addressed head on. There is no magic answer to the environmental injustice problems that biofuels pose, but South Africa has been working on policies and strategies to address these issues. In regards to the food security issue exacerbated by biofuels, one potential solution is investing into second generation and third generation biofuels instead of first generation. These biofuels are biodegradable, making them relatively harmless to the environment if spilled. They also use non-food crops in ethanol production, saving precious food supplies for the growing African population. South Africa was the first country to put in place a formal biofuel plan in 2007 to monitor the development and impact of biofuels and has been placing several other biofuel policies and mandates since then. An example of these policies is the Biofuel Industrial Strategy that works to promote the production and use of biofuels to attract investment that will increase employment. Other programs the South African government has implemented include Black Economic Empowerment, which aims to provide increased economic opportunities to groups that have faced historical disadvantages, especially following the apartheid era. The objectives of this policy initiative address issues of environmental racism in South African communities, as the legacies of apartheid pushed black people out of the wealthier cities and into artificial homelands in the rural countryside. It is meant to act as an equalizer, and while a more equitable policy may not be entirely adequate compensation for systematic historical injustices, it seems like a promising start. For the future, South Africa should be focusing more on how biofuels can contribute to poverty alleviation and protecting rural communities from big businesses' exploitative methods. For now though, South Africa has made some progress in implementing policies around this growing industry and hopefully biofuels will continue to flourish in a sustainable manner while respecting the interests of local South African communities.